All right, folks, hey there, I'm John Gibbons, and today we're gonna be talking about shop safety. So right here, we're at the first aid kit. Every shop should have a very well-stocked first aid kit, Band-Aids, Neosporin, hydrogen peroxide. It may sound like simple stuff, but really comes in handy if there's an accident. Also, these uh, eye wash, this little eye wash thing is a big relief. Um, you can squirt it in your eye or wash your eye. And uh, I got rust in my eye one time and squirted it out with this. It really helped. Uh, let's see here, I've got some gauze and cold. This is one of those, you can break this and it becomes cold. It helps with bruising. All right, so um, for your lungs, you wanna wear a respirator so you don't breathe any dust or fumes. Ear protection, when I'm cutting metal or grinding glass, it's really loud. And then eye protection, I've got these glass blowing glasses, they're didymium, so they cut out the bright sodium flare from the glass. And then if I'm just cutting metal or grinding glass, I have these uh, clear safety glasses. Okay, so when I'm cutting my Marini, I've got this vacuum here that sucks up um, the majority of the glass dust so that I don't breathe it or it doesn't fly into my eyes. I also wear safety glasses if I'm gonna be cutting Marini. So I've got this wide door to my shop here and people be wandering in, getting in my way, getting burned potentially. So I put up this, this little belt and it does a great job. Everyone, even the craziest people are polite enough not to cross it. So you always wanna keep a barrier between you and your working area and the public. All right, so this is called a burn sleeve. It's a Kevlar and I just wear it on my arm so that when I'm working, I don't get the heat from the glass or sometimes the tools when you're working get really hot and they'll touch your arm. You'll see a lot of glass blowers with jack burns, but uh, yeah, it's, this is Kevlar sleeve has saved me numerous times. All right, so when we make a big piece of glass, you have to suit up so you don't get burned when you're putting it away. So, this protects your face and hair, and then the gloves, so then you can grab the piece of glass, put it in the oven. All right, so when you're cold working, you wanna make sure your hair is tied back and tucked way back and isn't gonna get caught on this machine here. And then uh, I buckle this in the back of me so that these don't get caught in the machine. Because loose clothing or hair could get caught in that machine and it'll, it'll pull you in there. So you always have to give these machines a lot of respect and not uh, have any loose clothing or hair uh, nearby. 